The Harlem Renaissance was the name given to the cultural, social, and artistic explosion that took place in Harlem between the end of World War I, the middle of the 1990s. During this period, Harlem was a cultural center, drawing black writers, artists, musicians, photographers, poets, and scholars. During this period, Harlem was the mecca to which black writers, artists, musicians, photographers, poets, and scholars traveled. Yes. Okay, honey. So we're going to lay down, and you're going to push slowly. Count of three. One, two. Push. It's a girl. Hold on, honey. I got to cut the cord. September 10th. 1877, Laura Jackson gave birth to Georgia Douglas Johnson. It's a girl. Here you go. She's so pretty. One day she's going to be an aspiring poet and play writer and everything else she wants to be. Georgia Douglas Johnson's maiden name is Georgia Blanche Douglas Camp. Her birth year has been reported early as 1877 or as late as 1886, but most sources indicate it was most likely 1880. Her mother was Laura Jackson Camp and her father was George Camp. Johnson was of mixed ancestry including black and Native American on her mother's side and black and possibly white on her father's side. Not much is known her of her father except that his family descended from England. Johnson grew up in Rome, Georgia where she attended public schools. She did not have any siblings and was not very social in school. Her writings reflected a lonely childhood. Georgia Douglas Johnson attended Atlanta University Atlanta University Normal College, Oberlin Conservatory, and Cleveland College of Music. Georgia studied music at Oberlin Conservatory and at the Cleveland College of Music. <laughs> you know, you're so funny. Oh, thank you. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so how are you? Good, Georgia. How are you? I'm good. How's school going? It's good. What would you like? What's your profession? Oh, you know, just the regular stuff. Before she graduated from Atlanta University Normal College, also known as Clark Atlanta University, Georgia met her husband, Henry Lincoln Johnson. He was a lawyer and government employee. Georgia graduated Atlanta University Normal College, 1896. On September 28, 1903, Georgia Douglas Johnson married her husband, Henry Lincoln Johnson, an Atlanta lawyer and prominent Republican Party member. They had two sons, Henry Lincoln Johnson Jr. and Peter Douglas Johnson, who died in 1957. Johnson claimed her husband was not very supportive of her writing, preferring her to be a homemaker instead of a writer. Her husband's job as a lawyer forced them to move to Washington, D.C., away from the Literary Center in Harlem. He died in 1925 when she was age 45 and when she left to take care of her sons who were teenagers at the time. Even though her husband often criticized her career as a writer, she published two poems dedicated to him, The Heart of a Woman and Bronze. Johnson lived in Washington for the last 50 years of her life after her husband died in 1925. Henry Lincoln Johnson's death was a big impact for Georgia. Thus forth, when as drawn as a lone bird, saw winging so restlessly on afar over life's turrets and vows does it roam. In the wake of those echoes, the, red, the heart calls home. The heart of a woman falls back with the night and enters some alien cage in its place and tries to forget what has dreamed of the stars, while it breaks, breaks, breaks on the sheltering bars. In 1918, she published The Heart of the Woman poems exploring themes especially meaningful to women. With this volume, Johnson became the first widely recognized African-American woman poet since Frances E. 
W. Harper. The Heart of a Woman is About Love, Longingly, Disillusionment, and Loneliness. The poems reflect frustration with the strictures of women's prescribed roles. After Henry Lincoln Johnson's death, Georgia had to get temporary jobs from 1925 to 1934 as a substitute public teacher and a file clerk for the civil service. Ultimately, she found a position with the Commissioner of Immigration for the Department of Labor where the hours were long and the pay was low. I said Uno before. I've been saying Uno a hell of a time before. Not Wally, this or that, but rot. Of alien bloods am I, a product of the interplay of traveled hearts. Estranged, yet not estranged, I stand, all comprehending. From my estate, I view the earth's frail dilemma. Sigh on a few strength am I, all understanding, nor this, nor that. Cosmopolite by Georgia Douglas Johnson. Johnson had to create her own supportive environment by establishing the Saturday night open house that she hosted weekly soon after her husband's death. Harlem Renaissance writers such as Jean Toomer, Ann Spencer, and Jesse attended the open house. The open house was for writers to debate about new work. For Doom, her life was dwarfed and wed to blight. Her very days were shades of night. Her every dream was born in tone. Her soul a bud that never bloomed. This poem brings up her past that is keeping her down. Georgia Douglas had a rough childhood, which is expressed in the poem. Her mother was not very caring and was thought to have resented her daughters. With knowing that, her mother probably did not let her follow many of her dreams. In 1966, Georgia Douglas Johnson died in Washington, D.C. In 2010, she was inducted in the Writers Hall of Fame.